Hey y'all, it's Lisa. Welcome to Win It Wednesday. And I'm going to just find myself, as I always do, I need to find myself on Facebook so I can read all of your comments. Uh, so give me just a second and I will be um, waiting for you guys to hop on. So as you're hopping on, just let me know you're here. Say hey to me. Um, and who's excited that it's Win It Wednesday? Wait till you see what you're going to win. You're going to be so happy that you showed up. All right, uh, let me find the event. Here we go. And please, um, if you get a chance, if you would just go ahead and sprinkle this, uh, let other people know that we're doing this giveaway because it's going to be uh, fun and people are going to want to be included in what we're giving away. Uh, okay, so should I show it? Hmm. Okay, as people are hopping on, I'll give you just a few more minutes and then I'll show you what it is that you're going to be able to win. I know you're going to be excited because I'm excited to give it away. So, Pam. Hey, Pam. Thanks for joining me. And Tanya and Gwen. Hey, Beth. We got Sheila and Christy and Carolyn and Leah. Thank you all. Helga and Lisa Peterson Brown. Thank you for joining me, you guys. Okay, so earlier the ladies were on customer service. Uh, was on with us and or on with you guys to let you know that I was coming live and what you're supposed to drop below is in the comments to win today is what um, color uh, do you decorate? Do you have a theme that you decorate for Christmas? So how do you decorate your tree? Do you have a color theme going on? So every year I kind of do something a little bit different. Um, I'll get into that in a second. So I got hair. Helga, Carolyn, Annette, um, awesome, I got Lori and Brenda and Betty. Thank you so much for joining. All right, if you guys are ready, I'm going to show you what we're going to do today, and then I'm going to show you what you could win. Okay, so as you're watching, just go ahead and sprinkle, sprinkle um, to other folks so they can join us, and hopefully they can be included in the win, because I think today I'm going to be super generous, and I'm going to give two of these stencils away. Don't tell Crystal. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. So what we're working with today is um, we're going to work with these brand new, just came out, these arabesque. Um, this is the actual shape. And they're wood, pre-painted, white uh, shapes. And that's, that's the surface, and it comes in a 12-pack. And then we also have this stencil to accompany it. So I know you're going to enjoy that. But what could you win? You could win, hello from Missouri. Uh, I decorate with lots of snowmen and snowflakes. I'm going to try and change it up this year, but, um, okay, so what could you win? Ah, you can win. Lots of people have been asking for this. But you can win the kitchen minis from the craft club from a few months ago. These were super cute. Do you remember the craft club? Who, who did the craft club? You had the wooden spoons and um, some buffalo check um ribbon to put on it and just these awesome things roll with it shake it up life is short like the spoon just beat it with a good baker's gonna bake i mean just so many cute cute things and these little they're little two by two they fit on so many things cups just anything i saw someone put a, different things on their aprons or in their pockets and so i'm gonna give away two two winners today okay and listen you do not have to be a customer you could be a first timer you could be a creator. Anybody who's on here and commenting, I put, and you can watch tomorrow, I put it in the big wheel, and we spin the wheel, and we find out who the winner is, okay? So it's these kitchen minis, and I'm going to give away two. But you have to let me know how you decorate. All right, and I think that's going to help me out because I'm going to try to go out on a limb a little bit today with these arabesque. All right, so let's see. Um, Tony says natural colors and a pop of some color. Uh, Helga, I use the colors. Did anybody uh, join me the other day for my tray? Uh, if you enjoyed it, be sure to come back tomorrow and maybe sprinkle that um, around because I'm going to add some stuff to my tray that is going to be so much fun. I had some suggestion to add some pops of color, and I am going to do that. I liked it. I thought it was good. I want to keep it neutral, but I do want to introduce one more color, which I think will add a little more interest to my to my. Um, to your tray. Okay, red, green, silver, and gold, Mary says. Merry Christmas, my Christmas tree is decorated red and black. Oh, I think you're gonna like this one, Lisa. Okay, and if it says red and green. All right, lots of hello from Oregon. Hey, Joy. 
and Denise. All right, so just let me know in the comments, and then I'm going to move on, okay? Let me know in the comments, how do you decorate your tree? Do you have a theme? All right, and um, if you do not celebrate Christmas, but you celebrate Hanukkah, tell me how you decorate your house. Is there a theme that you've got going on, okay? All right, so um, I'm going to get going. I'm going to set these comments aside just for now, uh, and then I'm going to tell you what I'm all about today, okay? All right, so let's get crafting together. Today we are going to be working with these arabesque ornaments surfaces that came out and they are 12 to a pack and this is what they look like. Okay, and they do have a little hole punched at the top and they come with some twine, some pre-cut pre uh, twine, 12 pieces. And then I'm also going to be using this arabesque ornament uh, stencil. Okay. Okay, so what I decided to do is, because I couldn't decide what I wanted to do this year for decorating my tree, is I kind of, I'm just mixing it up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you guys help me decide. All right? So kind of going out on the on a limb here. So what I did is I, I'm going to have a couple of these, a couple of the white ones. All right, that's what we're going to work with. And you may say, there's like a little bit of a mess going on here. All right, I painted two of them gray. So what do we think is going on here? Probably a farmhousey look. I don't know, and then I've got some here. Ooh, they're still drying, so we're gonna wait a minute on these. Some red ones. All right, so I've got those, um, and I'm gonna need you guys to help me out. I gathered some supplies, and I'm thinking, for the farmhousey ones, or shabby chic, I'm not sure which one. Do you guys know the difference? Would you tell me down below what the difference is? Um, and uh, I got some raffia, maybe for a ribbon around it. It's like a little messy bow. I also picked up, um, that was loud, a bunch of these beads. And I'm thinking I've got black. Uh, these are 16 millimeter, a little bit smaller. I got natural. And then I've got this red and uh, black plaid. Might be kind of cool. Then I also got, I got a lot going on, guys. I'm not even kidding. Okay, and then I've got um, all these ribbons. So I've got this black sheer, and they're all like um, a quarter to three-eighths of an inch, something like that. It's this black sheer ribbon, um, a black and red plaid, a white and red plaid. i got a theme going on. And then black and white. Okay, so um, like I said, you guys are going to help me uh, decide. I've also got a bunch of our new glitter chalk paste. Who has purchased these chalk paste? So I've got the glitter black, the glitter red. We're using these today. You might say, you know, shabby chic or farmhouse, probably not using glitter, but we've got almond for that one. All right, so we've got this um, copper and gold. Beautiful. And uh, last one is this rose gold. Who's in love with the rose gold? Is that not a beautiful color? That was Crystal's request for this year, and I think it was a great choice. I forgot to grab my tape. Give me just one second. Okay, I, I do need my tape. Okay, so uh, let me get started on what we have going on here. Um, and I'm going to take my arabesque ornaments and stencil and um, I'm going to let these dry just a bit longer. Let me set these out of the way. I am going to ask for your help in just a bit to help me decide what to do here. I got my paint all hanging out and everything. Listen guys, when I use, uh, when I do paint these, I typically use a chalk paint over it or some kind of like enamel that um, is going to stick real well. Chalk paint you can get just about anywhere at your craft stores. You can also make it. So I do like to make chalk paint and um, I'll just take any latex paint. I'll even take paint that I, I picked up at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's in the Oops area or the area where somebody decided they wanted to do a, uh, you know, a trial at home. And for some reason, I don't know why they, they bring it back and they get a credit. But anyway, they sell it at Lowe's and Home Depot. Those little jars and um, they're usually a buck, 50 cents. I pick those up and then I, I do uh, one part plaster Paris, which is a powder, 
Okay, you can find that over over in the, it's over in the paint section over, over in Lowe's. It usually comes in a larger container. I think I'm going to show it tomorrow in one of my lives, um, in my life. And um, so it would be one part uh, plaster Paris, one part water, and one part of latex or acrylic paint. Now, I, I mean, three parts of paint. One part water, one part plaster Paris, and three parts <laughs> of the paint. Okay, and that really gives it some teeth and it stays on. Now, I am going to say this. That is not a recipe for chalk paste. So, please do not use those that on your stencils. It's going to get in there and clog your uh, screen and then that's going to be in your stencil. All right, so that's just for paint. But you can pick up paint, uh, chalk paint anywhere um, or regular, you know, enamel. All right, so here are my choices here. Uh, first, I'm going to go in with the um, the design, okay? You've got two choices on the design. And I'm going to go ahead and um, write on the back. You guys have remembered this time. I'm just going to write on the back. And the reason we write on the back is because the carrier sheet or the backer, um, is uh, it's got a matte finish. It's kind of hard to see. Um, but uh, at least you'll know that that's the back and not to put your stencil on it, okay? So I'm just going to put um, arabesque one and arabesque two two and then these have different letters I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna go the short route and do this so I know when I cut them out that is actually the back but uh, another really great reason to name them is because uh, when you cut them and they're different sizes you'll at least know which backer uh, the stencil fits on right all right so I'm gonna um, cut out um, the arabesque shape with the design and these words should fit right in there okay when I was designing this I was really careful to make sure the words do fit in there all right so um let me know how you decorate your tree or your house during the holidays do you have a color theme do you have a a theme altogether um, okay so we've got the white and I'll do I'll do one in white I'll do one in gray and I'll do one, I think that's ready, in, uh, I hope it's ready, <laughs> in red, all right? And then we'll come back around and do it again. All right, so now for my gray, I was thinking, I would like to see this a little rustic. So although I did paint it, I'm going to go in there with a sort of fine, this one's 120, you could use 220. By the way, when you use sandpaper, the higher number is the... Um, finer grit okay so and I'm just gonna go around the edges and just kind of like take off some of that paint and and rough up that appearance and then I'm going to show it to you in just a second see what it looks like and see what you think about that and we just want to give it a little bit of a, of a worn look because um, that's sort of like the did you guys let me know is that shabby chic or um, is that my Christmas tree is decorated with many mil mil miscellaneous colors of ornaments that I've had collected over the years. One special ornament is an ornament that my dad had. Oh, gosh, he hand-turned on his wood lathe that came from the trunk of my husband and I. First Christmas tree. That is beautiful. I love that. So I started uh, my first Christmas tree. Um, I uh, started just collecting, you know, small um, small things that were sort of meaningful. We didn't really have much on the first Christmas tree because we was po, 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 po. But um, we did, um, after the kids were born, we did start adding one ornament per year per child so that when they left, they would have their own ornaments to leave the house with. So that was our tradition. That's what we did. My mother started that, and that's what I continued with. Okay, so... This is what I have now. Okay, this is what I had before. Just a regular gray, and this is my shabby chic. I don't know. Tell me, you guys. Shabby chic, or is this... Shabby chic to me would be lacy and tattered. Thank you, Carolyn. Okay, so this is more farmhouse-y, right? It's, okay, we'll do farmhouse-y. We'll, we'll go with that. All right, next thing is because of, of the um, surface, I might want to wax now. Uh, should you wax or should you not wax? When do you wax? I do like to say if it is a board that is wood that has a lot of fibers in it, 
you might want to wax. We never ever want to wax anything that we are putting a rub-on stencil um, transfers on because the rub-on transfers um, will not behave well with the wax because it needs a good surface to grab onto. The wax is really sort of like, you know, maybe um, extending the length of your stencil and making, I mean, the life of your stencil and making sure that uh, you have your your wood fibers kind of like filled in or a good surface for your uh, stencil to to um, to work with, but not get totally stuck to, you know. So, all right. So I just wiped that on, and now I'm just going to buff it off. And I'm going to. I think this one's going to be my favorite, quite honest. And I'm not into the whole farmhouse thing, but I love it already. Do you guys love that? Okay. I'm going to do it to um, the red one too. I don't need to do it to the white. Um, why do I? Um, uh, Margaret says, use red plaid bows, red and white beads. That's what you use on your family tree. Okay. And I'm just um, doing these because I just painted them and um, they're really probably not very dry because I put on two coats. Uh, red, three coats because red is a pretty deep color. Okay. So, um, and now I'm just going to buff that off. But I put it on that because um, I didn't leave a lot of time drying time and I don't want it to pull up my paint so all right all right so we're ready to go so I've got these two different ones I think this one is looks very uh, traditional okay so I'm gonna put the traditional one on the red and then this one I don't know what that looks it just looks like fun I'm gonna put it on the farmhouse all right, so let's do the farmhouse one first. Now that we've decided that's what it is, let me put my uh, wax away. And by the way, if you guys haven't picked up this wax, you might think about it. It does not have a scent. Uh, you, it, it is just pure beeswax. So I'm um, good to go. All right, so I'm going to grab uh, my stencil. I already wrote on the back so I'd know what the back was. Uh, Jet says our style is farmhouse. Okay, you love the new releases. Thank you. I'm grabbing, the, uh, this is our tacky towel, and we just use this to pick up a little bit of lint on the stencil, because the stencils do have a sticky back, and uh, the first time you use them, especially on, especially if it's a non-porous surface like glass, you definitely want to um, pick up some lint several times over. You know, if you don't have a tacky towel yet, you could put it on your clothing. It's just a tacky towel, it's pretty consistent. Um, the other side is for drying. You will turn your stencil upside down. All right, let me put that aside, and now I'm going to fit this. It should fit right on the um, on the surface. Actually, I'm going to do it the other way. I'm going to turn it upside down and fit it. That way I can find where it's supposed to go a little bit easier. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about in a second. That was good. That was good. All right, so now I've got the top. I got it right where it should be, so I turned it upside down so I could see where exactly the lines were instead of just trying to match that surface up. All right, so with the farmhousey looking one, I'm going to do, instead of a stark white, I thought that was too much for farmhouse, so I've decided to use my almond latte, which is a color I just really love. Anybody else love the almond latte? All right, let me set this aside. So I've got my almond latte. I'm going to get a squeegee. If you have never used our products before, you're gonna, it's um, chalk paste. That's this that I'm getting ready to use. Is a medium that's a semi-permanent. When I put it on, it's going to dry hard, and it's not going to come off unless I um, reconstitute it with water. But it's also not so permanent that maybe you could set something liquid down on here because if you did want to remove it, you could reconstitute it with water, give it a couple of minutes, and then uh, and then wipe it off and redesign. All right, so now I'm just going to go over the stencil with my chalk paste. I, I'm glad I made this choice on the almond latte. Yes, I'm loving the almond latte, Helga says, yeah. Um, and I'm going to show it to you in just a sec uh, where I put it on. So I just went around the whole thing and put that almond latte chalk paste on. Oh, it's stuck to the <laughs> board. Okay, I put it on. And now I'm going to just um, squeegee it off. So what we want to do is be able to see the design straight through. We don't want to use a lot of chalk paste. 
because it's actually not great to have a big build up. You just want it enough for the design to come through. All right. And then we don't want it to sit here and wait for it to dry. We get a lot of questions like, do I have, do I wait for it to dry before I pull up the stencil? No, 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 no. We don't want to do that. Actually, as soon as you're done putting the chalk base down, it's when you're going to pull it up. All right. So I'm going to pull it off. Oh, I love this. All right. So that's what I've got so far. I'm going to set that. Do you guys like that one for the farmhouse? All right. I'm going to set that aside and this stencil as well. I'm going to move on to my red one. And I think with the red one, uh, what do you guys think on the red one? I wanted to do, I wanted to do one of the glitter colors. Um, let me know what you think. I'm thinking I'm going either the gold glitter. I think that might pop. Either the gold glitter or, or I'm going to go the black glitter, which you can see is a little bit, um, a little bit of a muted black. Let me know what you think. Tell me in the comments. Um, let me know. Should I go gold glitter? I'm definitely doing glitter on the red. So now the question is on red. Gold glitter or black glitter? You tell me. I got some kind of something on this. Oh, I know what it is. It's that black enamel paint I was using. Ugh. And I got it all over myself. All right, let me know. Gold glitter on the red ornament. Gold, gold, gold. <laughs> now I got one black. Okay. Gold on the red. How about gold on the red, black on the white? We'll do that. That could uh, mix it up. All right, let me put this almond latte aside. And we'll go in for the gold. I haven't opened this one yet, so I'm super excited about it. Um, I like to use my little uh, stir stick to just score the edges and peel it back. You do not have to keep this little top on. You can just peel it off. I'm just going to um, peel it off and toss it out. Okay. And now I'm going to come in with another squeegee. I've always got tons in here. Get a couple more smaller ones. By the way, we have these mini squeegees in a 24 pack. I like to have a ton of them around. All right, so now I'm going to come in with this more traditional looking one, and we're going to do it in gold. All right, and we're going to put it. Uh, we're going to fuzz it a little bit, pick up a little bit of lint on our tacky towel. Um, oops, I might have to do that on my lap because I got my stuff in the way here. All right, and I'm going to put it right on my, let me see if I can try it, do it this way, this time. Uh, I don't know how accurate that's going to be. I should have done it upside down like I did the other one. Oh, well, I'm committed now. Okay, so I just got it on there. Going to rub it in real good. All I'm doing here is just making sure that um, that stencil sticks on so that when I go to um, squeegee my medium on, my chalk paste, it's not going to run up underneath my stencil. Okay, and I'll just get the design I'm looking for. Look how beautiful that, look how beautiful that gold paste is. Yum! Has anybody designed yet with the uh, gold paste? I love it. Sprinkled, love this live. Thank you, Jess. I really appreciate that. Okay, does Magnolia have blackboard type paint? Not yet, ma'am. Okay, let me go in with the gold. This gold is creamy. Creamy, creamy. I'm doing this wrong. I should not be holding this up, but I was kind of doing it so you guys could see me doing this here. You know, um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I used to do lives where I would be facing you, and then as soon as I started, you know, working with the product, I would just face the camera down so you could see it better. Let me know what your preference is. is it doesn't matter to me. Um, this is, you know, I'm here for you guys, so let me know what, what you prefer. Um, all right, so... Again, just trying to show you how I'm doing that. I'm just squeegeeing off the extra. I've got some extra stuff around here, but I'm not going to worry about that. That is not on my surface. Now I'm going to do the peel and reveal. And some people say squeal. Okay, I'm trying to peel it off without getting it on myself or 
put this here. All right, let me know what you think. That was a good choice. That was a good choice, guys. All right, so I'm going to stick with that same stencil, and now I'm going to do... Now, notice I'm not going to even wash this off. I don't really care. Um, it's still got the gold on it. I'm going to go right in, put it... I'm living on the edge here, guys. You're living there with me. Okay, and then I'm going to put it on um, right on this white one. But on this one, we're going to do that uh, shimmer black, okay? Uh, has anybody used the shimmer black, the, the glitter black? I just love it. It's beautiful. Uh, I think the upside down really was the way to go. <laughs> it's easier to see it because when we do these shapes, um, basically I design the stencil and then I send the shape in just like a quarter of an inch larger than the stencil. So you got you do have to line them up. All right. It's on there. We're going in with the black. All the words impede the project. So to watch you have to take the comments off. Yeah, Debbie, just swipe, uh, I think, to the right, and the comments will go away. Um, and then you can just see um, whatever we're working on. Now let me grab another one of these things. These are the arabesque ornaments. Yes. When will the glitter white be released? Uh, we will have to get back to you on that. Love the shimmer black and rose gold. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I've been uh, seeing a lot of folks uh, saying how much they love the uh, the gold, the rose gold. All right. Got the black now. Put this over here because I'm just making a mess. And I'm going to go in with the black right over that gold. Okay. It really not much time has passed. Uh, and this stencil isn't you know, basically so thin that I can't uh, expect to get a decent um, look um, or have my, my paste go through that screen. So uh, for those of you who might be new to using silk screens, um, if you let the paste dry inside the screen, all is not lost, okay? It, it's not going to work for that project, uh, but you could wash it off. To fix it if you wanted to and then you could um, just wash the stencil it reconstitutes with water and then you can uh, let it dry and put it back on your project and try again okay no harm no foul all right let's see all right waiting for my order on the glitter inks and paste to come in Friday good good thing for you out there all right, here we go. And a oh, this is cute. Uh, it's like I just really love this. I was so excited to make this stencil and do this project with you all. Look at that! Is that beautiful? So now I saw somebody do this. Uh, it was um, it was actually Pat uh, Patsy Ray, and she said she has what's called a memory tree, and she was planning. I thought it was brilliant. She is doing her arabesque ornaments for her tree and then on the front uh, with this pattern and the words. And then on the back, she's putting the names of the people who've gone on to their forever home, people who aren't there to join them for Christmas any longer here on Earth. So I thought that that was such a beautiful idea. I may do the same. All right, I'm going to set that aside. All right. Uh, as I always, got so much going on here. Let me set this over here. All right, now we're going in for the words. So I need help with the words. I've got this shabby chic thing going on. And, um, no, not shabby chic. We decided this was farmhouse, right? Farmhouse. We got farmhouse going on. So I'm going to do farmhouse. Uh, let's see. Let's do um, family. I like family. So we're going to do family on this one. I think the red one will do believe. And on the white one, let's do faith. Okay. I take that back. I'm going to do peace. Okay. Got them all cut out, ready to go. Got my tacky towel. I'm just going to put them all on there so I can peel them off one at a time. Are you guys, um, how you doing here? Thank you. Thank you, Grace. Love those. Thank you, Sharon. Um, 
Very pretty. Thank you, Cynthia. Uh, do you guys think that you're going to try this for yourself? If you want to get them, you should pop in and grab them because I think that these are going to be super popular. Okay, so what I say, what I say, I said for uh, the Christmas one, or I'm sorry, <laughs> the farmhouse, we were doing family. All right, so we'll do family. And I got to go open up that. I'm just going to fit it in in the midst in the middle of the design, and I don't have to, uh, you know, rub it on there real good, just just real lightly, and it doesn't have to be the whole thing, right? Just in the area that I want to chalk, where I want my design to come through. So now I'm just going to um, stencil. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to uh, chalk just in that area, just in the space that we see co the design come through. All right, let's see what this looks like with the wording on it. Ah, oh, love, 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 love. What do you guys think? Okay, next up is, I'll wash this later. Next up is, uh, let's do Believe. And Believe is going to be, you guys, you can switch up, obviously, you guys can switch up the, um, the colors, you don't have to do the middle the same as the other, um, the rest of it. But it's just what I wanted to do. I'm going in for a traditional look with this one. Love the family. Yes, Pamela. Uh, I just, uh, that's that's it for me. That's like, why, why do we do the things we do, right? Why do you go to work? Why, why do you do, other than you really love what you're doing, it's to support your lifestyle with your family and the people that you love and to provide for them. Okay, so I'm uh, coming. That's that's my anyway. That's my story. So I'm going to come in. I didn't get enough. All right. Ready to see the Believe? I probably should, I should have made that one up higher, but look, it looks pretty anyway. Yeah, I should have put it up higher, but it looks pretty. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the stencil, like put in, now you guys can learn from me, <laughs> from my mistakes. I think if you, if you position the, the, um, evenly, the stencil right in here between these, um, this like rounded edge, I think that's going to help, um, uh, us get it even. All right, so let's set, set that one aside, and now I will do the black, the glittering black, and the white. Okay, so totally agree with what we do for family. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Thank you. They are so gorgeous. Okay, now I got peace, and I'm I'm gonna try what I just told you guys to do. All right, now you put it in the middle here. Try to put it in the middle. Um, I mean, that looks like the middle, both up and down and sideways, don't you think? Help me out, folks. Help me. All right. Now I'm going back in with my black. Um, now, if you guys do something else, I would really love for you to share. I love seeing all of your ideas and designs and what you do with these things. And, you know, these words, they can just be used on anything. They can be used alone. They don't need to be used um, specifically with the arabesque design. They can be used on anything. Um, I saw somebody um, mix up. I always see you guys mix and match designs, and I love it. You are so stinking creative. <gasps> that might be my favorite. That might be my favorite. Let me put this aside, and then I'll show you. And then we're going to work on just the embellishments, and then we'll be done for the day, okay? There's the piece. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? All right, so we got um, this traditional. I don't know what we're calling this one. And then this one will be farmhouse. All right, so with that in mind, we need to decide what we're going to do. Love the red and gold together, Sarah. I do too, yeah. I'll use the color each family member uses the holiday, used for the holiday and give them an early Christmas gift after we have Thanksgiving dinner. What a great idea. Okay, so with my shabby chic, or, <laughs> oh my gosh, stop me. Um... For my farmhouse one, let me get some of this junk out of the way, some of my goodies. We are going to grab these. They come, I told you, they come 12 pieces of twine. Pre-cut the size that you need. I'm going to grab one. And I like to uh, just tie mine in a knot right away at the top. 
I will show you in a second. Just like that. Okay, leave in a loop. And then I'm going to feed the loop through. Oh, goodness. Through the hole. And um, you can do this so many ways. And then I'm going to feed the knot through the loop. And now I have got this look. Now, you guys can do it six ways a Sunday. What I think I'm going to do with this one is, I think, oh, that's the wrong one. I was going to do the farmhouse. Oh, look at me. I just threw it. Okay. So, uh, let's try again. Uh, red and silver. Black and white is beautiful. I really love it. And I love the piece on it. All right. We're going we're gonna to try this one again. Um, actually, maybe I'll go the other way this time. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter as long as we get a, the loop, the loop up there. All right, here we go. Come on, get on there. Get on there. All right. Now I was thinking with my farmhouse one. You guys help me. Um, ribbon, and you can choose. Look at all the choices black and it's like a like a really i think i might save this for the black and white one just because i'm loving it um it's just a real sheer black and then there's black and red um white and red and black and white and but for the farmhouse because it was gray i'm thinking that i should do some raffia um Again, I'm not a farmhouse kind of girl for decorations, for decor. So we're going to see how this works. All right. Um, let me check on my glue gun. And it is looking good to go. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the end of this glue stick and stick it to the other one. Uh, so it can feed right through. You guys can do that before you put it on here, but it's better so you don't have to like prime it to go through. All right, so I'm gonna set that off to the side till I'm ready. All right, so I think I'm just gonna take this, where, where my scissors go, there, there. Boy, I got too much. All right, so I'm gonna just um, take some raffia, I think. Um, and what do you guys think about the raffia idea? I mean, let's, let's try. I'll just tie it on and you guys tell me what you think. And then I'll just trim it up later. Oh, thanks for holding finished products up higher so we can see it over your words. Okay. Yes, if you if you have trouble with the words, just swipe to the right. Um, but I definitely will do that. Okay, so like I, I warned you guys on this. So I don't I think that's a fail. That's not gonna be good. Um what do you guys think I should do on this farmhouse looking one? Should I just leave it? Should I, maybe I should do like a raffia bow and uh, use my glue gun and put it like right on the surface? What do you guys think? I'm looking to you guys for help. What do you think? Um, like I said, I'm not, I'm not your, uh, I'm not your normal like farmhousey kind of person, decor. I don't know what kind of decor person I, decor person I am. Apparently, I can't even say the word right. Decor, decor. Uh, I wonder if this would work. You guys, let me know what you think. Add a bead and a piece of and a longer piece of twine. Okay, let's try that because you know I was going to go in for this look, but it's not it's not working. I was just going to put it like that, but that looks junky. So I like your idea. We're going to do that. Longer piece of twine, but I'm sorry I have to grab my twine. Okay. Man, I almost fell over. <laughs> Someone help me. Someone help me with my, <laughs> with my uh, space here. Okay. We said uh, just one bead. Do you think one bead? Do you think one bead? 
I think she's referring to words as cash-ins. I see. Oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, good point. Okay. Um, all right. So are we thinking one bead? Beads. Like one or two or three. I went and got my tape and I'm not even using it. I like the beads idea. Okay. Three beads. You got it, girl. You spoke up first. We're doing three beads. And I'm just putting a little bit of tape on the end of my uh, twine because it wants to fray. Okay, three beads it is. And I think all natural, don't you? Uh, probably should have done that different. I think I should go this way. Oh my goodness, like I said, you guys need to help me from, save me from myself. Okay, um, do you think the beads should go through, I think it should go through both, don't you? If that is the case, then I need to tape this thing together better. Uh, let's see, let's see. You're so talented. <laughs> Thank you, Lauren, I appreciate that. Some days, girl, I feel like I'm on the struggle bus. But as long as we're going there to get, as long as we're there together, it's going to be okay. All right. I'm going to redo my beads with this tape shenanigans I got going on. So but both of my pieces of uh, twine will go in there together more smoothly. There we go. That works much, much better. Okay, now let's see if this idea worked. All right. Let's put this through here. You know, I could even go the other way. Hmm. I'm, I think I'm overthinking this. Let's do it this way. I'm going to put um, a knot at the top so that I can hang it. Okay? And then I'm going to put a knot. <laughs> this is probably not going to work. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. And now I'm thinking I should not have done that. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so glad I have you guys on this live with me and that you're patient. <laughs> okay. Pulling this apart now. Okay, let's, while I am doing this nonsense here, what do you guys think about the red and the gold? What should I do there? All right, so let me, let me fix this. So red and gold, let me know what you think. Red and gold, what should I do? Um, vintage Santa Anita's glass beads would be so pretty. Oh, you're so right. I have zero of those. But that would look so cute. Okay, now now we're cooking with gas, as my husband would say. Now we're in business. Okay, let me put these down here. Let me tie off the top, and then you're going to see it really is stinking cute. Okay, do we have a vote for this one? People in, liking this one with the beads? Okay, so um, red and gold beads. Yeah, I don't have red and gold beads. That's going to be a problem, but I do have, those won't work. I have black, I have natural right here, and I have um, this red and black plaid. I'm not really kind of feeling it for that. Um, what do you think about the red and black plaid for this? Nah, that's not good. Black. Black and natural, maybe? Yes, love the beads. That's great. Okay. Okay, so, um, we're going to go with the longer, with the longer twine if we're going to be adding beads. Okay, uh, let's do a couple more. The last two, and we will be done. Oh, wait, I didn't ask. What about, um, on either of these... What do you think about any ribbon? Should we tie off some ribbon on them? Okay. Actually, I, I really love this light black. I think I'm going to put this on something. All right. So let me, I think I am going to do like a uh, gold on the gold. Uh, yes, love the beads. Okay, great, great, great. Um, 
Okay. How many of you guys have purchased the um, the glittering uh, ink? I have not done anything with that yet, and I'm so excited. So, so excited to do it. Also, I wanted to just let you know that um, if you if you are watching today and you have missed any of our stuff, you can just scroll back through all of our videos and just go on the videos at the top of the page and watch anything you want. Okay, anything that's on there. All right, so I'm going to try this one. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to go black, natural. Uh, this black and white was not so uh, black and white, but black and natural. We're going to try. What do you guys think about this for the black and white one? I think I'm going to do it just to see. Uh, so let me do that. And then I'm going to tie the black uh, ribbon on it. What do you think about that? What do you think about them apples? Um, okay. So cute. I think I, I would have gotten, I think the glass beads, you guys are right. And I think, um, like, if I was going to do this project and not in front of you guys, I would change it up and do different beads. But I am going to um, put this ribbon on this one. And we'll see it. I think it's going to finish it off nicely. I didn't even need that glue gun. I, after I'm done this, uh, done doing this, I'm gonna go check out you guys' stuff and see what you have done with this ornament. Has anybody done a live or made um, this? Uh, so, if when you join our company, if you want to join as a creator, you do not have to to uh, buy from from us. That's for certain. But as a creator, you'll get thirty five percent off. And then if you do decide to build a team, uh, and we don't have any quotas or anything, no quotas, no minimums, nothing. It's just like the easiest thing you could ever be part of. Um, but you um, you do get that thirty five percent off. And if you want to build a team, that's cool. If you don't want to, that's cool too. Um, but our creators got them released to them before everybody else did. So they've had them a week before you guys, if they've, you know, if they did, they had a chance to order. So it's possible that they could have them. Okay, and I think next time I will put that bow down further as well. Okay, so, boy, I've been saying okay a lot today. That's all right, that's okay. All right. Tell me which one you like best. This one with the little bow or this farmhouse. We'll do one more. One more. And um, pink and purple on a white tree. Wow. Silver and gold glitter. Silver and gold glitter. Uh -huh. I've only used the red. Was on at midnight to get the new release. Nancy, she was ready to go. You get it, girl. Okay. I'm going to do this one different. I don't know where my stuff is. I'm not going to do it so different, I guess. <laughs> Let's do a um, a regular bead, and that doesn't even go with it. What am I talking about? Let's just do one bead. <laughs> it doesn't even go. Okay. All right, and then, um, so when I'm done, I'll be done in just like, give me two minutes, and then you need to let me know which one's your fave, okay? So we got uh, the farmhouse, uh, one traditional with the red and the gold, and I want to know what you're going to put on your tree, and then we've also got uh, black, and I guess, I don't know, what would you call that white and black one? Was it, would you call it traditional, or what would you call it? Um, uh, maybe like modern? The, the font certainly isn't modern, but the colors I feel are. So maybe that's, maybe that's what it is. Okay, we're just rocking this one. And we'll call this done. And uh, let you guys go for today. Again, if you want to watch any of our stuff, please go back through. Uh, look at the top of the page. Watch any of our uh, videos to find great ideas. Um, all right, so I'll definitely have to tie this off. And you guys tell me which one is your favorite, this traditional red one. And I don't even mind taking, uh, if you guys want to give me, I love it when you give me advice. 
like what else should go on here. I love the glass bead idea, but here's what we have, at least for the arabesque. We've got the traditional. We're calling this our farmhouse. And then this one, I don't know. We're going to just call this uh, modern. Okay, just because it's black and white. All right, guys, let me know what your favorite is. Put it down in the comments. All right, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you hanging in with me. I appreciate all your comments and your suggestions. So, oh, one last thing. It, remember, it's Win It Wednesday. So in the comments, let me know if you are, um, how you decorate your tree because if you've hung on with me, you or if you started with me, you know that I'm going to give away two of these uh, kitchen minis. You cannot buy these. So two of these kitchen minis. And I will pick the winner tomorrow. If you have friends that could not hop on today, just sprinkle this to them. Let them get a chance to win. If they still comment, I'm not going to be picking until lunch tomorrow. So And that's Eastern time, okay? So tell them, hop on comment let us know what they think how they decorate uh, for their christmas or their holiday season okay well thank you so much for joining me you guys have a wonderful afternoon and i'll see you next time bye bye